Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Hopkins Multi-Tow 7 and 4-way trailer connector here on our 2016 Chevrolet Colorado. So here's what our trailer connector looks like installed. As you can see here, we have both a 7-way connection, which is going to be used with our larger trailers that have electric brakes, as well as the 4-way connection here so we can still tow these smaller trailers. So this trailer wiring harness, it's going to be an excellent option for your Colorado here. It's going to allow you to tow a number of different trailers so we can remain legal when we're towing out on the road. So luckily, this kit here is designed specifically for this vehicle because the connector it uses is going to be a direct replacement for the cover that we have here from the factory. So this is actually just a dummy plug that comes installed from the factory in your bumper here. And once we pop that out, we can simply just pop in our trailer connector. There's going to be no cutting or drilling involved. So in regards to installation, this one's very simple, definitely pretty straightforward. As far as tools go, the only really thing you're going to need is some wire strippers and some wire crimpers. Most of those tools are a two-in-one. So with minimal tools, you'll definitely be able to get this installed at home by yourselves. We can go ahead and walk you through this entire process now. So to start our install today, we're going to come underneath our vehicle here. We're going to go over on the driver's side directly behind our bumper. We're going to be looking for a bundle of blunt cut wires which contain our trailer lighting circuits. So if we take a closer look under here, we should be able to see these. So there's going to be two wiring harnesses here on the support bracket for the hitch or the bumper crossbeam, whatever you have. So this top one here, if we pull that down, you're going to see these blunt cut wires here on the end. And these are actually for our factory tow package port. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a trim panel tool and there's going to be a little frame clip up there. We're just going to simply use a pry tool to pry that free. It's going to give us much more room to work. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and peel back this electrical tape here to reveal our wires. And if I pull them out of the loom here, it's going to give us much more room to work. So there they are. That's what they look like. So what we're going to do next is, you can see these little black ends here with the heat shrink on it. We're actually going to be cutting each of those off. And then we're going to splice back about a quarter of the jacket off the wire on each of these so we can crimp on our butt connectors. Now in your kit, you're going to be getting standard butt connectors. And those will work fine as long as you be sure to seal them up with some electrical tape. Or you can opt for some heat shrink butt connectors which do a little bit better job of keeping water out. And that's what we're going to be using for this installation. You can pick these up here at e-trailer if you want to use them. So keep in mind, not all of our wires are the same gauge, so we're going to be using a combination of the blue and yellow butt connectors depending on what size wire we have. So we've got our butt connectors on each of our wires coming from the factory tow package wires. So now we're going to strip off the ends for our harness here. We can begin making our connections. Unfortunately, it isn't going to be color for color, but we can go ahead and show you what these all are now. So the orange wire coming from the vehicle is going to go to the red wire on our harness here. Once we get that first one though, it's going to help hold our harness here so it'll be a little bit easier to make the rest of our connections. So the next one is going to be the blue wire from the vehicle and that does actually match up with the blue wire from our harness. So now we're going to take the gray wire from the vehicle here and attach that to the purple wire from our harness. Now we'll take the green wire from our vehicle here and attach that to the green wire from our harness. Next, we'll take the yellow wire from our vehicle here and we'll attach that to the yellow wire from our harness. And then we'll take the brown wire from our vehicle here and we'll attach that to the brown wire on our harness. And finally, we have the black wire from our vehicle. That'll go to the white wire from our harness. And then what we can do next is we're going to take a heat gun and we're going to seal up all of our connections. So 
So now for good measure, we're gonna come back with some electrical tape here. I'm gonna tape up all of our wires and our connections. So this step is a little bit more important if you're just using these standard butt connectors that come with. I'd probably wrap it around there a couple times, making sure there's no gaps. But if we're using the heat shrink butt connectors, this is just gonna be mainly for keeping all the wires together. So now, once we have our wires taped up, don't forget to re-secure the harness there using that little point in the frame. But then I'm gonna take the other end of the harness, I'm gonna wrap it over this cross tube here, because the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the factory plug, which is what we see here. This is where our trailer connector is gonna install. So if we come to the inside, we just pinch both of these tabs on either side, we should be able to just push it out. And there we go, that's what that looks like. And there's a closer look at those two tabs. We'll simply depress to release the locks. Now with our cover out, we can take our trailer connector here and simply go ahead and pop it into place. And now we'll simply come around to the back side here and plug it into place. So in your kit, you're gonna get a small packet of dielectric grease, which is the same thing we have here, just a little bit larger tube. You wanna go ahead and make sure to coat the pins inside with that grease there. And what this does is, if any water does get in there, it won't corrode the terminals and give you lighting issues. But once we get that applied, we're gonna go ahead and use a plug-in seven pole as well as a four pole tester just to make sure everything's working. If you have your trailer, you can obviously use that as well. Just keep in mind, you wouldn't be able to isolate any issues if there was anything going on with the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and start our vehicle just to test everything out. We should have seen that the 12 volt pin was already active, but we can show you the brakes, the left turn, the right turn, and then the running lights. Now there is one couple more circuits, the reverse lights. And then as far as the electric brake output goes, we won't be able to show you that because we don't have a brake controller hooked up. But if you did, you just simply want to hit the manual override and make sure that light comes on or if you're using trailer, you can hear the brakes engaging. And that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Hopkins multi-tow seven and four-way trailer connector here on a 2016 Chevrolet Colorado.